I don't know how this little <laughs> this little setup is going to work, but I just decided to move the camera into the room instead of out there and then like have it come this way. I have my black magic back here behind the monitor. That's the camera that I film like my my I don't know, my live streams and stuff like that. But anyway, I put the the FX30 in here and it is look at this. It's crazy. It's fucking 5.09 and here's what happens <laughs> like two, three four days ago I was talking on there on the thing and I'm like I'm burning out and then I do that you know I burn out I didn't get much done for a couple days I downloaded runescape man i used to play so much runescape when i was in middle school so much i downloaded it on my phone i'd just been like bopping around doing some mini quests or whatever and uh like i kind of slacked off for a few days and then today i, I guess the, it started again like two days ago so it was probably a couple weeks ago or a week ago that i was like oh, i'm burning out and then i took it easy for a few days and then I, uh, anyway, yeah, downloaded, um, any, no, 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 took it easy for a few days, played around, didn't do a whole lot. Like I went to work. I wasn't consistent with these videos and just, just a lot of, man, I got so many things that I need to do every single day that I just haven't figured out how to do yet. But anyway, um, then a couple days ago, I just, I started redoing my future millionaire booklet, my to do booklet. And I just ordered two more of those today. They're, they're set up for each month. So like I should run out in a month, but I went back. So it was like a month ago where I was like, I'm just gonna do one objective. And that was easy. I'm, I'm telling you that was a lot easier. Just focusing on that one objective of the bike reviews. I got most of it done. And I think that's a whole hell of a lot more than I would have got done if I didn't have that, like that strictness of just sticking to one thing. But I, I don't have the paper. I just printed out the, the pages for like each month picking my objectives. And I split it into three brands. I split it into my main YouTube channel brand, my, uh, my second YouTube channel brand, and then the marketing side of things. I'm gonna go for sure on the marketing side. Like I, you know, do SMMA, do social media management, do brand building for local businesses. And the whole idea, my whole idea now is like, I'm gonna provide corporate level um, social media management and brand building for local business prices, like small business prices and just see how that goes. But like, what did I do today? I did my live stream and really that's about it that I did like towards the brands. But then I took the dog to that, that brewery with the dog park that's just down the street so that she could play. And it was Friday night. I figured it'd be busy. I took my laptop. I guess I went to Chop Shop and worked on stuff. I've been working on a lot of stuff today, but anyway, I took my laptop with me so I can edit the um, showcase website that I'm building to, like I already went through all that yesterday, but oh, I didn't even say what day it is. Anyway, I think it's day 124, grinding till I'm a millionaire. These are my check-in videos where I uh, just check in every day with what I did to get myself closer to my goal. And hopefully the idea is that in day 500 you can look back through all these days and all these ideas and be like oh wow he didn't just like he worked for it anyway um i took the my computer to the dog it was 5 a.m i'm just i'm cracked right now i'm like amped up on energy drinks anyway dog park worked on the website and like the whole funnel plan that i have with that is like I'm gonna build a website to showcase the local businesses in the area. Um, and it's probably gonna be a full brand, probably do videos about it, shorts about it. I think those videos are fun and they'll do well. Um, anyway, to showcase, and I'm gonna put in a second SD card because This, this SD card, it's a V90 Mark II or whatever. They're fast as hell. And that's the only way I can film 4K 
maybe it's 4k 240 i think it's anyway that's the only way i can film slow motion on this camera so i bought these sd cards but i have one it's at 18 minutes and i didn't think i'd talk that long but i'm like i know i'm gonna talk that long so i'm gonna plug this in and just in case There, that just got me to 54 minutes. Okay, anyway, what I was saying was that um, the whole like the whole funnel is to build that other brand where I'm like, I'm giving to the businesses, I'm highlighting the local businesses, I'm making content for them, I'm meeting them, I'm interacting with them, like I'm learning more about their business and all of that good stuff. And I just think one, that would be fun. And going to that brewery has got me really thinking about that. Like, I think it would be easy. Um, especially going that route. Now, maybe maybe I'm just adding an extra step for myself, but again, my whole goal and like my, my motto with things is to build things that are sustainable and scalable without my input. And when I think about doing social media management and I think about doing branding for local businesses, like that is very trade time for money, right? Very trade time for money. And there's nothing wrong with that, except when I want to move to Bali, what's going to happen, you know? So anyway, building up these other businesses, like if I build it up in a way where it's getting good page views, like I've got ad revenue on there, I've got advertising, I've got, there's a bunch of different ways of affiliate stuff that I can monetize that website for the rest of my life. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm thinking about building that first as a way to get me connected with local business owners and like today so i was sitting there at the brewery i was working on stuff and like there's a group of people there and the one girl came up and she's like hey like what's your dog's name and we just started talking and she's like oh i used to live at the same apartment complex you live at and so do all these people and so like I'm like hey what's up like we talked whatever i just kept working on my stuff they're like you can come sit with us i'm like no i'm good <laughs> i'm like, I don't hate people. I'm fine with people, but like, I, I just, I'd rather sit and work on my stuff than chit chat about whatever. And they're super nice people. Like I like them anyway. She's like, Oh, this guy's the, he runs the place like Isaac, blah, blah, blah. Like, uh, and then I talked to him for a while and I was like, wow, these are, these are all cool people. And they all do different things. Like one has a nonprofit, one does the brewery, one does this. Like, it's like, well, that was that easy. I just took my dog there. Like I just sat there and talked to people for, and I met all these people. Um, so anyway, just doing that and connecting with people. One, I really enjoyed that. And two, I think that there's a way that I can provide value for these people. And so anyway, I want to crank that out and then it'd be so easy to just be like, oh, hey, you know, I have a website that uh, showcases different businesses in the area and I'd love to do like a quick little interview and get get some content for your business on the website. It's like, oh, OK, cool. Now we're friends. I did something for them. Like it's helping me build my website. Just makes so much sense. So anyway, have an objective for my main YouTube channel, my second YouTube channel and for that brand and I set those up today and now I'm looking at everything. I'm like, shit, this is kind of a lot. Um, and I think when I take it back and I go monthly, it's like, okay, one video a month is my goal for the main channel. Not that hard. And I think I could script film a pretty decent video and just pay somebody hundred bucks, which is a lot of money to me, but I could get a decent a decent video for that when i'm going weekly like i don't i only want to spend 25 bucks a video and the quality that i'm going to get from that is quite a bit less and so if i could just make one banger video a month i can afford that hundred dollars a month put that out and save myself a good amount of time now for the second channel that's going to take a lot more work from me and i've got to distribute the content but i just think that that's very scalable and the longevity of it is there and so that's something i'm going to be working on and then working on these other businesses the idea is that when i get to the point that i want to completely focus on the social media stuff and the the connecting with the local businesses the first channel and the second channel are at a point like the first channel I could do monthly uploads still and those are more tied to me as a person versus um, not tied to a brand and the second channel when I have all the content uploaded that I want to upload 
the strategy that I've always gone with on both those channels is SEO. So like, you know, Mr. Beast videos, I guess, still get views over time. Um, but usually it's like he posts a video and then there's a, there's a time period where it pops off. Nobody's really watching like five, six year old Mr. Beast videos, unless you just find out about him, you, you binge all his content, but searchable content is something that I think is more evergreen and, and something people are going to look for no matter what. And so I'm creating the content in an even more evergreen way so that like I put this video out, it should be good for for a while, you know, until something major changes. And so I want to build that in a way that that's how it's going to operate. And it doesn't need me every single month uploading a video. And I'd like to be at that point. I guess I could be at that point right now, but there's so much, like I just started that channel a year ago and there's so much more that I want to do with the channel and the website. So, um, so anyway, like I know that the next venture that I'm working towards doing the social media stuff and building up that other website is going to require a good percentage of my time, most of my time. And so I need to be ready to leave the other brands where I'm at. And I think if I build them in a smart way over the next few months, they can be at a point that they don't die when I quit posting. You know what I mean? Like they, or they're still manageable with minimal effort. So I'm thinking of all of that as I'm working on in this area, as I'm working on all this stuff is like, okay, what's going to happen in six months when I don't have the time to make all this content? Well, hopefully I've already made the damn content and I don't need to make any more. You know what I mean? So anyway, that's the direction I'm going with that. That's what I'm, where I'm working towards. Um, and just thinking about all this makes me super excited, gives me hope. Now I'm still aware of the fact that what I said I'd do a few days ago is like thin out everything and find the essentials. I'm like, I want to just focus on the essential stuff. And then I like added more work for myself, but I just, man, I don't know. Maybe I'm being dumb, but I look at everything. Like I, I spent the last couple hours going through my main website, my old website, which I quit posting on. I just kind of, I fucked it up. I installed a theme, then I half-assed put the theme together. And then I like started posting on the other website. I got the other website set up really good. It looks good that just everything's beautiful on it, but all of my contents on that first website. And so like, I'm slowly adding new content to the second website and I'm starting to see a hockey stick growth, but I'm like, man, maybe I could just put in more work on this first website. And I think what I want to do with it is, is not completely switch it over, but keep it sustainable, but kind of interweave the two. So maybe they both grow to a point. Um, the ad revenue on the main website one month when I first started it, like within the first year of having it, like I was making 300, $400 a month from it, which was like good money. And then I changed around a theme and did some other things. And then it was like, it's never gone a hundred above a hundred cents then. And that's that, that pisses me off and stresses me out. But even at that, like the website's just passively poking around to, I don't know, 60 to a hundred bucks a month. I just put ads on it and gave up. Um, now I just bought and reinstalled Akabato, which is a, a theme from income school. It's a, it's a good theme. It's very simple. And the whole idea is that it's fast and it's good for blogging. And that's what I used to have. And then my license ran out and then the price went up and I was like, man, I don't want to pay the new price. And now like a year later, I bought it again for an even higher price. I used to have a lifetime deal for like a hundred and now it's like 67 a year and you can't even, can't even get it anywhere. Like that's it. That's all you got. So I'm stuck with that, but anyway, installed it, reset up the website, messed around with that, touched up some old blog posts and tried to figure out more of a structure with it. Um, so anyway, it's like all these different things now that I'm going on and I need to map it out in a clear way that makes sense to me so that I can just add my daily tasks. And the one thing that I did when I was hyper productive that I need to start doing, but it's so fucking hard is planning out my day. Every single night before I go to bed, I'd sit down and I'd plan it out the schedule. I'd put it all on there and I would literally follow it. It's like my alarm went off and said, okay, you know, you're done. You're done editing videos. Now you're going to the gym. I'd stop what I'm doing, go to the gym. And like, I followed that thing like a psychopath. And it was easy because I was on my own, didn't have a dog, didn't have like a, didn't have a girlfriend, didn't have a roommate, didn't nothing. And I could just like 
focus on myself. And I think I was, I was still working at Texas Roadhouse and I was doing marketing there and I, like, I was still hyper productive, man. I got all my shit done for that. I got all my other, like, I, I, that was the best time of my life. I was, I was, went through an archive, like all my Instagram posts because I'm gonna switch my Instagram to be more professional. And it's got like my whole life from, I don't know when I had it in 2013, I think. And I was just going through and like, when I was going through the posts of that time period, I was like, man, I was in good shape. I was riding a lot. I was riding good. I was doing good with Roadhouse. My blog was good. Like everything was doing good. And I, and I felt pretty put together. Now, when I look at where I'm at now, like I'm still in a better spot, but I don't feel like it, man. I feel like, like every day I'm just scrambling to keep the walls from falling down. You know, I just feel like, every day something new is happening and i'm trying to figure it out i'm trying to just like keep my head above water but that's not true like i just transferred 1300 dollars that i had set aside just i'd set that aside over the net last month and a half i think it hasn't taken that long and i'm gonna pay off a credit card that i racked up when i was doing really bad right before i moved here i was in a hell of a hell of a spot um, so that feels good. Like I'm, I'm moving forward. I'm doing good. I'm optimistic about this other venture I'm working on. I think everything's going to line up and it's fine. If you guys look back to, I don't know, three, four weeks ago, it was, it was pretty tough. I was just like trying to figure out where I'm going to move to next. Like, am I going to stay in Phoenix? Am I going to like, what's going on? And I still haven't really figured it out, <laughs> but I think, you know, I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna stay here. This is where I, where I need to be. I'm gonna build community here and just make shit happen. That's, that's all you do, you know? That's just all you can do. And there's so much opportunity here and it's my own dumbass fault for not finding it and not taking advantage of it. Like if I just wanna sit in my room all day and not chase any opportunity, that's my fault, you know? That that's my fault and I don't have anybody else to blame and and when nothing works out for me or when I am just stuck here making a couple thousand a month from YouTube instead of $10,000 a month, then I'll just be sad at myself, you know? Like I'm the only one I have to blame. So uh, anyway, I'm just like I stress myself out about that and then I get on myself. I'm like, dude, there there are people way dumber than me making way more money and so i'm just like gonna try and figure it out so anyway that's that's where i'm at with things that's what i'm working on and i hope i'm making the right choice i hope i'm making the right decisions and if i'm not we will know in a little while one other thing that i spent a lot of time on today was tiktok seller no tiktok shop um, someone who followed my future millionaire TikTok from the daily videos, he's super cool. His name is Jay Hard, and he posts about TikTok shop. And I guess he allegedly, I trust the dude, has made pretty good money pushing affiliate stuff with TikTok shop. And I always see his posts, he's like, you're missing out. Like I just start like I just started a new channel and it's already made a hundred dollars or something. I'm like, oh, what the hell? If it's that easy, like, okay, let's try it. So I spent this morning, I set up a different account, like a fucking fourth TikTok account. That's gonna be my TikTok shop account. And there's a way, Jay Hard posted about it, to do it without the 5,000 follower minimum that you normally need. So I did it that way on this brand new account, set it up, and I made like, I don't know, three, four videos of this automatic ball launcher that, um, that a friend got for Joey. Uh, but I just said I got it from the TikTok shop and posted about it because it's a it's a sick toy. You know, she likes it. It's fun. Made the videos and we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. We'll see if we actually make any money from this TikTok shop thing. But if I just, you know, get a few products from there that I'm going to get anyway and then every day make a couple videos about it, it doesn't seem that hard. Now, we'll see. Again, we'll see. We'll see what actually happens with it. Cause I'm very skeptical. Like, you know, I think about the difference in real affiliate stuff and then TikTok affiliate stuff with real affiliate stuff. You've got to build a brand like my affiliate stuff. I have to have a brand around it. Like people are searching for the content that I make. My content provides value because of that value. They purchase a product, right? Like 
it, it, there's a lot that goes into it. You can't just post a video and then, oh, boom, I'm making money. Like, I feel like you need to build a brand around it. Um, with the TikTok thing, oh, and with your brand, you know, you've got two week cookie times, you've got 30 day cookie times. It all depends on that whole thing. And, and with say Amazon associates, or I guess any affiliate program, as long as they buy something through that website, you're making a commission because they used your link versus on TikTok shop. It's just like only if they click that little button that says the product and then buy from there. I don't think there's cookie times. I don't think if, you know, TikTok is so short attention span. If somebody clicked the product and they thought about buying it and then they abandoned cart and then like a week later, they're not thinking about that again. They're not like, oh shoot, that product I was going to buy. Let me go back and find you. One, you won't find it. Two, it's gone. Okay. It's gone. And I feel like your, your commission's gone too. So you need to like instantly convert people and that's hard. But on the flip side, you don't need to build a brand. Like you can post a video, potentially is a banger, potentially does really well. And then uh, you get the commission off that. I don't know. So anyway, I was like, well, I'll just make a few videos. Took like an hour today getting it set up and then half an hour or so making the videos. It was fun. So we'll see how that goes. And if that's something that brings in extra money, like I do believe people selling the talking about the oil pulling thing. It's like a teeth whitening thing. I don't know if you guys have seen it. If you haven't, whatever. But like those guys are making bank, 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 bank. Like imagine you got a video with 10 million views talking about how this one product makes your teeth super white. Here's the proof. And everyone's like, holy shit, that's crazy. Like even if your commission's only one, two dollars, you're converting a shit ton. And anyway so that's all that um it's probably five it's late man it's late and i don't know i gotta go to work tomorrow or like at one so eight hours nine hours no i guess 10 hours <laughs> no it doesn't matter i gotta go to work soon I need to sleep, but I'm, oh, I'm not tired. I'm like, I'm when I, this is what I love. Like finding things that get me excited. I get so much shit done when I'm hyped and when I'm like working towards things, when I have a plan and I know that if I work on this stuff, like something good has to happen and I just get hyped about it versus sitting around being like, oh man, nothing's working out. Well, I got to move like, you know, like that's a shitty place to be in. So I don't know. It, it always works out for me. Like I get in those ruts and then I, I just, maybe I spend more time thinking. I spend more time, uh, just quiet. And like when I chill out a little bit, I, I think of a bunch of different things and then something comes to mind where I'm like, all right, cool. New plan, new idea. Like let's go. So that's been a, a constant thing for my life. It's like, have a good idea, really excited, really excited, work on it, work on it, work on it. Doesn't work out like I expected. I'm kind of sad, I'm kind of bummed. I, I get sad and I act bummed and then I like think of a new idea and then I'm like, oh, hell yeah, new idea. And then it's like, it's been like that. And I've got to make sure that when I'm going like this, it's not because I'm discouraged or I'm giving up or anything like that. Like I've got to make sure that it's because genuinely it's just not, not the right, right, not the right move. And that's okay. If, if it's not the right move, it's okay to just bounce on it for sure. So I've got to make sure that that's the reasoning behind it. Um, so I'm not just like starting quitting, starting quitting because I think over time or eventually I'll find the right thing that I can just stick to and just keep going at. Um, just listening to a Tim Ferriss podcast and they were talking about something very similar. He's like, everyone who's rich, everyone like really rich, really rich. One thing, they all got rich in one area. Hermosi talks about it too. And he's like, but for some reason we all try to di diversify. And like, that, that's true. You know, you get, you get one thing going that's doing okay. And you're like, cool, now I'm ready to start it. And that's exactly what I did. And it's so annoying because now I feel like I've got all these other things. And maybe if I just, I just quit all of them or quit one of them. I, like now I'm back on that. Like, what am I doing? But I don't want to, I don't want to do that yet. I don't want to give up my, 
my thousand dollars a month, even though maybe I'll make ten thousand dollars a month, and maybe I, maybe I won't make anything from that other thing, and I should just focus on my thousand dollars a month and growing that to ten. I, fuck, I don't know, man. It is such a stressful thing to think about because you never know. You just don't until you try. But anyway, they were talking about that, like all the people who are really wealthy just focused on one thing. And I know that what I'm working on, like the, my main and second channel, they're not things that are going to make me rich like at all. There's no money in the industry. It's just something that I like to do that's fun. And I think I'm just going to keep working at it and building skills and learning more about what I do so that when I'm ready, I can apply that to a new niche. And I guess that's kind of what I'm doing with the, the showcase thing and the um, social media stuff is like, I've learned how to do this, how to build the brands, how to build the social media channels over the last five years. And now I can take those skills and apply it to a new thing where there's just a lot more potential. But I don't know when the right time to quit is and when the right time to push forward is. And I don't know if I'll ever know. But anyway, I think this was day 124 or 5. I missed yesterday. And... I don't know. The title will say whatever day it is, but thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I appreciate it. Wish me luck. I'm going to I'm gonna list out my day for tomorrow and then try and go to bed. That's the plan. But I'm going to get back on that schedule and shit. It's just, I don't know. I got to edit this. I got to do oh, so much to do. But anyway, have a good day. Appreciate you guys. <laughs>